What a game. What a game. Yeah, what a season. Raina yeah. Garcia has been on the ground. She deserves a lot of credit. She's been covering the yes. team since the round of 32. Yes. Went to Seattle from Iowa City to Dallas. Been doing a great she's job. Been everywhere. And, and right now she's got Iowa head coach Lisa Bluter. So let's see what Coach Bluter has to say. To the next place. Shows you the type of people they are. How would you describe Caitlin's maturity and growth? I mean, she didn't take any bait out there. Obviously, was answering these questions pretty. Yeah. Pretty you know, way. it's it's hard. That that girl gets you know the best defender all the time. She gets people talking to her all the time. She gets people that you know want to tear her down, and she doesn't go for it. And I think that her growth, especially this year has been outstanding, has been outstanding. That's why that technical foul, I think, hurts even more because I know how far she's come. I know that that what wasn't any intent, I'll have to watch it on film, but there was no intent whatsoever for her to disrespect the game in any way. And for her to get that, I don't know, it's not right. After that technical, that pushes her from three fouls to four. Yeah. How does that adjust your game plan as a coach? From there? Completely. I mean, we're playing handcuffed, right? I mean, we're playing with three people that have four fouls. We're playing with uh, Monica Sinano plays half a game today. She's the, one of the best shooters in America, and she plays 20 minutes. I mean, I just feel bad for my two seniors having to go out of this game without being able to be on the floor. A couple more questions. How much do you think this season has redefined when people, you know, we've talked about the sport, but when people see Iowa women's basketball, that you guys are, are in this upper echelon and long, um, you know, year in and year out. I hope that when people see women's basketball at Iowa, they think they're proud. Um, they're proud of the University of Iowa. They're proud of the product. Um, they want to be a part of it. Um, and there's room, you know, there's room to join along with us. So um, I just hope that they're really proud of of where we've taken this program. What do you think are the things she's going to work on Ooh. for next year, especially as motivated a kid as she is? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I need to think about that a little bit, about what she needs to work on, what we want. You know, last summer we were going to try to add some post-ups to her game, and it really didn't go the way we wanted it to. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm going to have to really um, reflect on that and kind of think of, you know, how I can help her, you know, grow her game even more. And that's, you know, I, I got to sit down and figure that out. It's my responsibility. Big deficit there, but you came out swinging in the third quarter. Uh, what was the halftime like for you guys? And also, what does it say about your team? You know, we kept believing at halftime. We honestly did. And we came out and got it to within seven points. I'm proud of the fight that these women had coming out there. Uh, they could have you know, lay down, and they didn't. They just kept fighting, and I'm just so proud of them for that. 23 years, why was this team special? Any th time you, you accomplish something that's never been accomplished, it's pretty special, pretty special team. So, you know, we made it to the national championship game. That's something that's never happened in the Iowa women's basketball history. We have a storied history. Um, we had the player of the year again. So a lot of great things to be, to be thankful for. We are genuinely blessed. We really are.